started, please. Cool. Uh, yeah, Tremont, uh, just first off, uh, how, how exciting is it? And is it a little weird to have such a high profile matchup before the season even starts? Uh, no, not really. You know, you kind of, as a team, you kind of want these high profile matchups, especially before season, just to like test out where you are and where your team is as, as a whole before the season. So getting one of these early top matchup teams before before the season even even starts is pretty good for us just to see where we're at. And I know uh, last year you played alongside uh, Jamal Sheed, who, who was the AAC Defender of the Year. This year you're, you're going to play alongside Diva. Just, uh, you know, how valuable can it be for a team when you've got two sort of really experienced and talented defenders like yourself and Devontae? Uh, just how, how much pressure does that put on opposing offenses? Uh, you know, it can put a lot of pressure on them, you know, especially coming with the intensity and toughness that, you know, me and Devo and the whole team will will be coming with uh, on on both sides of the basketball. It's it's just gonna be tough for teams now. If they don't match our our toughness and energy, it's it's gonna be rough. Scotty, yeah, Tremon. Um, once you got to campus, what was the coaching staff's points of emphasis for you in terms of maybe growing your game, either offensively or defensively? Uh. I would say if the coaching staff really emphasized, you know, my me being more vocal, you know, on defense and offense, just being more vocal. Also in practice, being more vocal, just trying to make my teammates around me better. So I've just been trying to, you know, focus on that. And, you know, just becoming more assistant as an all-around player, you know, defense, just shooting, just become more consistent in all those areas. How did the vocal part of things go for you? I mean, I think earlier in the year, guys said that you got a lot of personality, but maybe kind of come off a little quiet. How did the vocal part of that go for you? Uh, it it went good. You know, guys see me in practice, and they kind of think I'm a, a different different person when I'm off the floor from on the floor. So it's, I think it's been going pretty good so far. Last thing I've got is um, you played with some good point guards in the past at Houston, and I'm curious what – some traits L. Ellis has that can make him a successful guard in this league? Uh, Yeah, he's quick. He can shoot the ball off the dribble, catch and shoot. He can penetrate the defense and, and kick out to the open defender. And I mean, open player. And yeah, he's, a, he's just a good point guard, high IQ point guard. He knows how to play the game. So just, just having one of those high IQ uh, point guards on my team is it, really good for us. Curtis? Hey, Tremont, as a, as a guard who can get downhill and, and get to the basket, I'm just curious, what are some of the adjustments or or maybe the things that go into finding some success around the rim uh, against Purdue, who's got a guy like Zach Eady roaming around in the paint? Uh, yeah, you know, you got to watch out for him, you know, national player of the year. So, yeah, you definitely have to watch out for him. In a game like this, you have to make adjustments with a, with a big fella like that in the paint. Just having working on your game, uh, having a floater, having a pull up mid range. I, I think you put Zach Eady in a lot of ball screens. He's gonna play a, probably a drop coverage. So just being ready to come off that ball screen and ball screen and make a pull up jumper when he's sagging off. Just just stuff like that, reads like that that you have to make in the middle of the game is gonna be important for us. And then uh, on the defensive side of it, obviously the the forwards will be matched up with him directly, but it's probably a a full team effort to guard a guy like that. So what can you do from, from your position to to kind of contribute to that effort and contain him? Uh, just being, if, if say, if I'm guarding a dude who's trying to pass Zachy the ball, just trying not to let him get an easy pass off, you know, just pressuring the basketball and trying to basically just trying to take it from him, trying to pressure, just being just being nasty on-ball defender, especially if, if my guy's trying to throw the ball into Zachy. Just, and if I'm off the ball, just, just stun, you know, make – Making Zach Eady make a read and making his whole team make a read uh, just off, off off our defense, you know, just stuff like that. Bob? Uh, hey, man, how you doing? Um, hey, you're, you're one of many transfers Eric's brought into Arkansas, and he did the same thing in Nevada, had a lot of success with you guys. What, what is it about Eric and, and maybe the staff and the program that you think attracts so many uh, high-level transfers like yourself? 
I think the guys just want to play for, for Coach Muss. And, I mean, I was one of those guys, you know, just wanting to play for Coach Muss and the staff. Real good staff, high level staff, NBA type staff. Just have a lot of IQ of the game of basketball. So, just wanting to surround yourself around that those type of people and and get better as a player and as a team. And I guess did did you get here in June or when did you arrive on campus? I don't remember. I think it was June. I think it was June. Well, the reason I ask because I wonder, you know, the, the time you've been here, all those months. Um, well, what are you seeing from Trevor in Brazil? Obviously, he's progress to where he's back you know on the court now and and uh, what have you seen from Trevin and you know being back and ready to go again yeah you know when I first got here you know he was doing all his rehab and stuff and just trying to get back right on the floor he's been he's been very good in his rehab I see him all the time in the training room just trying to get back and take care of his body you know so and he's still he's still taking the slow he, as he should be but you know he's back on the floor doing stuff going live and stuff and he's, he's been real he's been real good so he's got to keep it up. And then, you know, we, we we all talk about ED with Purdue. They got pretty good guards, too, some experienced guys. What, what do you think of their backcourt? Oh, they have they have a good good backcourt, you know, with the point guard Smith, and they have Lawyer, too. You know, just those guys are, you know, experienced guys that can shoot the ball off the dribble, uh, can make you – can kind of make you make a – if you make a dumb mistake, they'll they'll hurt you for it. So just just being disciplined, guarding those guys, and ch just trying to make it tough for them. Use our our athleticism and our IQ on defense. Just it'll bother them, I think. As one more, if I could, uh, we were talking to Chandler Lawson after you, and uh, mm -hmm. he's a transfer also. I guess got in a little later than the other guys. But well, what do you see from Chandler? What, what do you think he brings to the table? Uh, he's nasty, you know. Uh, my bad, sorry. You know, another high IQ guy. You know, he comes with a lot of energy in practice, a lot of energy in the games. Just he just knows what he's doing on the basketball on the basketball floor. So I think he's a a great addition to our team. And he just knows what he's doing out there. That's that's what I got to say. Can shoot the oh. can shoot the three ball as well. You know, he just he's a good player. You say he's nasty. Could could you elaborate what you mean exactly? Like nasty, nasty meaning like just you know. T a tough dude, you know, tough basketball player. You just, you're not gonna, doesn't make things easy for anybody who's around him. You know, it's just if you if you're guarding him and he's guarding you, it's gonna it's gonna be a tough matchup. So that's what I mean by nasty. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Touch. Yeah, Tremont, we've heard a lot through the years of of Mus and his uh, NBA like scouting reports. I'm just curious if you've. Got to experience that yet? Dive into this scouting report for Purdue and just kind of what's that experience like as a, a new guy in the system? Uh, scouting report is, uh, you know, it's, it's tough. You know, you just got to pay attention, you know, really lock in on your matchup and not just your matchup, but the other, your other teammates' matchups too, you know, just, just knowing what they're, not just knowing what your uh, matchup does, but knowing what everybody does on the on the basketball floor. So if you know what everybody can do, then you can be a real, real help for, not just not just you for before the team. Courtney. Yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, I know uh, Mike just mentioned it at the top of the Zoom, but you know you got named to the Jerry West Award watch list today. Uh, how does that feel as a player? Can you talk a little bit about you know that honor and and what you expect from your game this season? Uh, it's a nice honor. It's nice to be you know recognized as one of those top top players. Uh, top players in college basketball, but, you know, just got to keep working, keep grinding, and just like I've been doing. And uh, I'll see more success for myself, but not only for myself, but for the team, too. Daniel? Hi, Tron. Uh, we always talk about shooting with this team. Just has Coach Muss or any of the other coaches talked to you about your role and how often they want you to shoot and things like that? Mm, I pretty much have a green light, I think, you know. Uh, I just if I'm open, I, I, have a, I have a green light to shoot it, and, and that's that's that. <laughs> so Thanks, that. Jackson. Follow uh, final question. Uh, yeah, Tremont. Uh, you know, Purdue was a lost as a one seed last year. You were a one seed with Houston. I'm just curious, like when as a one seed in a in the NCAA tournament. I mean, do you get is there a little added? You know 
I don't know, pressure is not the right word, but trying to avoid, you know, that kind of historic upset. Do you guys talk about it as players? What was your experience like uh, as a one seed last year? Uh, you know, being experienced, having experience as a number one seed, you know, in my eyes, it's just a, a number by your a number by your team. But in other in other teams' eyes, it's, it's big for them, you know, You're playing against the number one team. You know, they're going to come at you hard, come at you with everything that they got. It's always being a number one team. You're always going to get your your best shot against any other team. So just you just got to be ready to play every, every game. Ron, well, appreciate your time. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And um, Curtis, you want to get a start, please? Sure. Hey, Chandler, you had a, a double double in the red white game, and you got to start the other night and and made an impact on both ends. Uh, just curious how you feel about your your showing so far and, and how you're settling in with the program. Uh, I just got to bring what I can bring to the table. I know guys want to bring their offensive skills. I feel like, you know, you got to separate yourself by doing the little things. And I feel like me rebounding and doing, like, being on, like, using my length on the defense. And I feel like they'll probably separate me the most on this team so far. And then as a forward, you, you're probably going to be one of the guys to to get to mix it up with Zach Eady a little bit on Saturday. Just just curious what you make of him as a player and, and just kind of embracing that challenge of, of facing the returning national player of the year. Uh, it's going to be a, a tough matchup for us. You know, we got a lot of guys going to be guarding him, like forwards to forwards and the fives. I feel like um, for offensive-wise, we just got to run the floor and just put him in – so much pick and roll coverage, and I feel like we just got to outrun him. The goal is just to run, 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 just make him just keep up with us and our athletic system. I feel like on the defensive end, it's going to be a, a whole group team effort. You know, we've been doing a lot of drills to practice late, the ED rules, <laughs> that we call. I feel like uh, we're doing pretty much a great thing uh, at practice, just covering what, what Zach Eady like to do in, in his tendency. Bob? Yeah, Chandler, sound like like it'll be a, a I know Mus is a man to man guy, but it sounds like it's gonna be men on 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 EDD. Is it gonna take a team effort on him? Yeah, it's gonna be a team effort. I feel like we've been practicing like so much in the gap this week. I feel like we over overdoing a lot of things. I feel like all eyes are gonna be on Zach Eady, but we still have to watch out for the shooters and everybody else. You know, we just don't wanna give out too much and give up open open areas and, and other other spots on the court. And it just how's I mean it's I know it's an exhibition game, doesn't count on the record. Um I, I don't know when when you guys were in Memphis, did you guys play any uh you know what you call high level exhibition games? Uh we play like D two, you know, we don't see you know you don't see too many like top fifteen uh matches like this in October. I feel like this would be a great challenge for us and also for them to see what we need to work on in the future. I feel like this is a, you know, yeah, this is a, this is a, a, a huge testimony for us, you know, to see what we need to work on in the future. I feel like a lot of guys are ready and I feel like we are getting prepared for this moment. And it's like a, a March Madness matchup. And I feel like it's going to be a great, great event Saturday for the fans to come see in October. Yeah, it's an exhibition game. It doesn't count, but it sounds like you guys are are taking it pretty seriously. I, I think Eric takes everything pretty seriously. Or uh, how would you you feel like it's it's a regular season game or something? Yeah, I feel like every game is a regular game. We take we don't we take every game serious. You know, you never know. You can't underestimate nobody. I feel like even the last game we played, we took that game serious into into details. I feel like we, for, from here on out, we are taking every game serious. You know, after practice. I mean, after the game last week, we went straight to right on Purdue, you know what I'm saying, start preparing for them. I feel like even though this is an exhibition game, I feel like this is a game to let us know what we need to work on. I feel like this will help us get prepared for the season. And you're, you're part of a big transfer class. And Eric, you know, he's known for bringing in transfers going back to the Nevada days. What is it about Eric and his staff and the program that you think attracts so many uh, high-level transfers like, like like you guys? I feel like the, the the winning, the winning that he brings to his program, I feel like that attracts a lot of transfer. You know, he, he he know how to use his guys and put them in a position to win. I feel like and get them in a better position on the court and off the court and for the after the season. I feel like that way that way will make some get a lot of guys 
and bringing them in together. Okay, I might have a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Mike. Thanks. Jackson? Yeah, Chandler, it seems like you guys have a like a pretty versatile group of bigs um, between the four or five of you guys, and you all have different kind of uh, strengths. How how valuable can that be? Have you guys talked about, you know, each of you guys have to kind of impact the game in different ways for the for the collective result to be what you want? Yeah, I feel like most of us can, like, we can, like, I feel like most everybody on the team can shoot jump shots. I feel like everybody very much versatile. I feel like for the bigs, you're just going to have to outrun him and just use our quickness on the offensive end. And the defense, you just got to work work early on the uh, defense end and just make sure we have our weak side help coverage on point and make sure we're just working hard as, as possible and just getting fresh bodies in to, you know, wham, up. Thanks. Before I go back to Bob, anybody else say anything for Chandler? Yeah, Chandler, real fast. I'm wondering what in your eyes TB is like behind the scenes and in practice and what, in your opinion, kind of makes him different? Uh, Right now, TB, uh, so far, uh, he been really laid back because he been, like, on the side, like, recovering. But if, when he came back, he was more of like teach me like the tendencies and what coach need and telling me what's going to be this, what's going to be that. I feel like TV has been like a, like a veteran to me because he know what coach wants. I feel like he set the, set the standard high for, for us. And I feel like he's been a great role model. It's just like being here on time, getting recovery, you know, just being here early and just setting an example for, for the new guys. Bob, follow up. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Jermaine, he called you nasty. Um, and did you hear him say that? And what what did you think of that? Uh, nasty about what part? I guess you're like a nasty player. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I guess he means that in a good way. I guess a tough guy, you bring it, you know, type stuff. You said I, that I was nasty? Yeah, he said you were nasty, yeah. I mean, I like, you know, I do like the nasty, dirty work. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good guy as, as well, you know. I like to do all the dirty work and, and just clean up what don't, don't nobody like to do. And I feel like the way you mean by that, just doing the nasty work. <laughs> when you, I think I know what you mean. What what what, what does the nasty work mean to you? Uh, I feel like things that people don't want to do. You know, just just being coachable, just just doing the little things. I feel like it don't really like. I don't. I gotta ask him that question as well. <laughs> to see what you mean by that. So I just think you mean about the little things and just getting prepared, the doing things that people don't want to do. And then, you know, Travin, um, he's obviously had a long road back from the knee injury. How good was it to see him play the 19 minutes the other night? And what do you think he could maybe help help you guys with the sort of the team defense you guys are going to have to play on on ED? Uh, I feel like he got to bring that toughness that he had at Houston that he had. Uh, how those guys were were talking. I feel like everybody got to bring what they do best to the table and just put everything together and just we got to use all that for Saturday even. And I feel like it's going to be the best way to just stop those guys for everybody to just come together, just let all the egos alone, just build in on team, 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 just focus on defense and just let the offense come to us. I'm sorry, I was asking about, about Trevin, maybe what you've seen from him, you know, recovering in recent weeks and – and how good was it to see him play those minutes the other night? Oh, oh TB? Oh. TB, yes, yeah, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. He been, you know, he's he haven't been playing live. So just to see him out there going live, you know, just see, you know, you can see his strengths and you can see what he liked to do out there. I feel like he was a little nervous a little bit until, you know, he until he just started letting the game come to him. I feel like. The more he practices, the more comfortable he'll get back into it. And I feel like he's getting it, getting his swagger back, you know, as the day goes on. Okay, thank you. No problem. Anything else for Chandler? I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.